won the A-team Racers Track Club. Great Britain 2 going 6. France, very, very well-drilled squad. They go Racers Track Club going 5. Mario Forsyth, Kiman Bailey Cole, Warren Ware and Usain Bolt. Good lane. Important is maintaining the baton speed. You want the baton changes to be smooth. You want the handover to be quick and uh, athletes be moving at optimum speed as they're coming into the handover and receiving the baton and heading off. And if you get those changeovers right, the three changeovers, it can make a huge difference. And moving forward, Jamaica 5, Great Britain 2 6, France, Germany, and Australia complete the lineup. Jamaica in lane 5, that races track club. Away they go then. So, anybody showing particularly quickly here? Remember, Great Britain's 18 with Dwayne James in the first leg. Good changeover from them. Solid, safe changeover, I suppose, from Great Britain. Down the pack straight, the yellow vest there of the race and track club of Jamaica. Moving up now, Great Britain 2, and indeed taking the lead as they go through 200. Another safe changeover from the Jamaicans. Who else is going well? Looking pretty good here in lane three are the All Stars team as they come round the final bend. And as Usain Bolt gets the back now, and he's got a bit of ground to make up. And Michael Rogers, oh, and they've got the back then, is it? Bolt away. Bolt's going to win this, and he steams away. Wins by 10 metres there from in lane. The six great Britain two, can you believe? Taking second place, I think that was 37.75. It is a meeting record. The world record is 36.84. They're almost a, a second, a full second outside their own world record set this arena last year. That quartet, but Usain Bolt looked very, very strong indeed. There's nothing wrong with him, and I think he's timed it right again. He's peaking well as Moscow approaches. Well, I was very impressed with the Jamaican quartet there. I must say they look very, very good from Forsyth, Forsyth to uh, Bailey Cole to Weir to Bolt. And uh, that quartet is a pretty strong uh, club team, isn't it? Well, Great Britain won as Jamili. Baton problems have uh, plagued the British teams uh, time and time again, haven't they? And uh, really, we let's have a look at the start now. Here we go, the Jamaicans, I've watched them all the way around, they went very, very strongly indeed. Great Britain won, just inside the Jamaican team, the baton's okay there. And uh, Jamaica going very, very strongly indeed, with Bailey Cole down the back straight, and as far as Great Britain, Jamili going very well. Baton already in hand, oh no, it's gone, that's where it goes. And of course it didn't, doesn't get to the final man, but uh, Usain Bolt takes over the baton from Warren Weir. And uh, Rogers can't get the baton either, so they've gone. And uh, really, at the end of the day, you know, you have to say that uh, France come through to take second place from Canada in third. But there's Bolt getting the baton, non-visual, perfect. It was very safe, and once he gets the baton, Rogers looked as though he'd got uh, a really good chance uh, to, to at least get somewhere near Usain Bolt, but uh, the baton didn't get from Tony McQuay to Michael Rogers. And so the big man was away. And away, clear, and uh, looking for a fast time. He gives his all, doesn't he, Usain Bolt? And he's um, given the crowd what they wanted his Stuart, at yeah. the end of this uh, second day. Yes, it was indeed, not uh, Great Britain who got second place. It was the French and those white vests. Some uh, great disappointment surrounding that uh, failure to finish for the British A team. It's a strong squad, but the changeover between...